Welcome back, my fallen angels. King Omi Water Gaming playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get into it. So last time we did the charms class. And now we gotta get to. How was your first day coming? What's up, on? Samantha? We gotta get to defense against the dark arts. Hello, Let's talk to Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. You trying to get a study group again? I got you. Is that a treasure chest? Oh, oh, um, yes, sir. Kidding. Pretty little baby. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister Whoa. a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> you're a damn dickhead. That's all I see. Level one lock. Oh, I need to learn a lot more. Taking a guess at this one. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. What are you up to now? Excuse you. You got something to say? Punk ass. Revelio. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, I have no way to get up there right now. You know, you know, tracking would be helpful. Track. It's back the way you came, but downstairs. Here for this classical. Hmm. What was that? Rebellion. Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an iris phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and who's mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Ugh. <laughs> but one play. What in the hell are y'all supposed to be? <clears throat> Is that all you've got? 
No, you said Bombarda. Whoa. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. I like her already. To the you wise, know. age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. You the daughter, you the daughter of Hecate? Tell me something. Now, let's try something a little larger. Hmm, <laughs> sir. Yes, man. Why do they always want me to go first? I got it, though. Let us begin with the basic cast. <laughs> See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise. Like the yellow shields will control opponent, spells like Levioso. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, oh, I want see. a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast. You said he talking shit. You may begin. Furthest from lucky, my boy. I'm nasty at fighting. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> beginner? Don't disrespect me. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Yes. Thank you, Professor Heppert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. A kettle so, of good I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. What's up, my boy? If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh snap, it's African Harry. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Never mind, it's Arthur Reed from PBS Kids. Alright. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. it the fact that you couldn't even get a shot in? Practice. 
It felt more like I was dueling an expert. 100%. Sebastian Salo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Not in the slightest. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Hell yeah! Fair enough. <laughs> you owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps you're trying to get me into sanctioned. trouble. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Okay. Oh, I was right there at level three. So next. Duh. I should have. I knew I wasn't tracking that and then I tried it anyway. Hogs made. No, I don't need to go there yet. Um, my next two is hidden. She said to come see her where? I remember her Off saying. Adventure, are we? Yep. She said to come see her after my two classes, but it's not. Oh, there it is. It just popped up. Good lord. Track. Ain't been nowhere over there, so I gotta run there. Revelio. Configuration court, yeah. Let's just say. Aha! Waven Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a lightness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadigan. This is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of the Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Hey, plus 20 to my health. Oh, what's that? Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hi there. What the hell? Why do you keep transforming? What's that about? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Excuse me, Professor. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. <laughs> Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. 
In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. Yeah, what me is neither. A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. Yeah. And she knows the area. Plus She'll she ain't a well sneaky little clear snake. Of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay. Yeah, anything hiding in here, Professor? Ooh. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. Okay. Cool. Where? Where is it? What is that? We're getting well potions. Nice. You don't mind I take those, do you? I hear you. But where are you? I'm really not seeing where you're at, so I'm moving on. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor? Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. You got me doing a side quest within a side quest. I got you. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. After a nap and a snack. Oh, wait, damn it, where'd it go? This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Let me mm -hmm. I'm a genius. Just saw it too. Gotcha. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Hmm. 
I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. All right. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go Hello. with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lacked out. Sweetness. Huh? <laughs> right. Set the next test to Hogs Mead. Shoot, I wonder if I'll even even be using the the fast travel system. I just it's kind of cool being able to walk around the whole castle like this. You know what? At, at some point, eventually, I'll, I'll remember how this works and stop messing it up. Stop trying to go on my own. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Oh, that's cool. difficult as it seems hello so, I don't believe we've met oh hello I'm Lenora pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy Samantha thinks I'm potty but it's this painting I never noticed it before if I know Hogwarts and I do an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason there's something more to this okay are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Right. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. Statue with what looks like a fat guy. Somewhere nearby. Oh. I just saw that. This looks there. like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? The hell is that? Rebellion. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue was an ingratiating grin. With an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Interesting. Revelio. What is that? Well, clearly it's a bus. Right. 
Lumos. Uh -huh. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Where'd she go? Cause she was in here, wasn't she? There she is. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm not telling. <laughs> I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Dang, the that's... moth! I should have seen that. So back on track. Nope, I almost did it again. Or I just tried to run to my destination without a real idea of where I'm going. See, it's this way. <laughs> Chilling. Yes, I am. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. You remind me of uh, Cleo from Legacies, Loki. Sweet. I love it. My eyes look phenomenal here. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. Have you I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. Oh. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Because I've shown up acts for you first. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Ooh, Grave I mistake hate that to class. take it as an elective class, believe me. Yeah. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Forgive the yawning, it's like three in the morning right now. <laughs> oh, wait, over here. Over here? I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Ooh. Oh, what's so special about them? Uh, well, potions. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Singing flowers. Interesting. Our roads look dirty as hell, low key. Look, from the forbidden or is forest. Or is that the is that the right? I wonder if something started oh. them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Leaping toadstool caps. Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named. That's the forbidden forest on the left. 
It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors think it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. Yeah, but at the same time, I value my life, so I'm not gonna go in there I without cause. I'm exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Can you get ran over? I no. will say. While I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle. You're not wrong about that. I didn't get that second one. I thought I grabbed it, but it didn't register. How you get this one, though. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find me settled? I still miss my family. But it is beautiful here, too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust <coughs> quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you, too. Girl, you just don't know. This place has been my home for like 12 years. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you Ew. might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Boy, are you drunk? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. 100%. Oh, keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. You're decent. Well, you're very experienced in charms, and you're pretty smart. I would love to have you on my team. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for Butterbeer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop. Rebellion. It changes with every visit. Creed wins precarious cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside of Pyrrhus advise, advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Uh, yeah. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Girl, you alright? When you had a bad day. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and a new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Bet. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. So I'm about to look for all the vendors first. I need that wand. Food and pack. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. It's me. <laughs> I didn't know you knew me. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... 
About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh. Dear. oh. Definitely not. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Ew. Whoa. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, yeah, this that thing was kind of ugly. Trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, I get to customize it? Say less. Elm, dragon heart string, quite flexible. Ten and three quarters. Curious indeed. Not the Bellatrix. I actually like this one. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How high does the sycamore grow? Alright. We on our Pocahontas purchase. We want money. rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative hmm a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner a dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly I'll keep that Huh. And I can change the color. Do I want the white or do I want the black? Well, hell, hold up. Curious indeed. Oh, I see. Yeah. How intriguing.
curious indeed. How intriguing. I wish I could mess with the design a little bit more on these. Curious indeed. Yeah. How intriguing. Let's go with you. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Pavilion. Golden Snitch Scarf. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, I like that. Pavilion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Lumos. I know where that was, but that's a long trip back. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. In the profession of Warncraft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Alright. Ooh, some clothes. Before it became Weasley's Wizard Weezus. Alright, well, this is going to be the end of this video. Don't forget to descend upon that like button like the angels you are. And I'll see you in the next one.